Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. City Skylines DLC is out. The industrial DLC. It's been awesome. I've been recording a series. I live streamed earlier. Now we're back to stream again. So we're going to go over some of the things that are new in this DLC that is $14.99 US dollars on Steam. So if you have any questions about the price or where you can get it, just check where you uh, regularly purchase your games. Wherever you purchased your last one, go check there and it should uh, be available for you. All right, let's go ahead and hop right into this bad boy. Hi, everyone. Welcome. All right, we're going to get started here by uh, looking at our big old city. There we are. And, uh, boy, we've been making some good money here. We've actually been building our own farms. And we've been building our own lumber mill. And uh, you can build all your stuff custom in this game. So we can actually build our own custom everything. So welcome aboard to all the new subscribers. If you like this and want to see more, make sure you click or tap that subscribe button. Welcome to all of you. To get rid of some of these buildings here. So no more gross industrial buildings, or at least you can have those, but now you can build your own custom stuff. Farms don't look weird anymore. You can actually have custom buildings that supply animals with grain and then go to market. So it's actually pretty cool. Not to mention we also have uh, toll boost now. That's a pretty cool new thing they added in. Cool little revenue stream that you can get from that. It's not really much money, but... It's definitely uh, cool to be able to see it in action. All right, so let's see. We're going to try to, uh, I think, build on some of these things. We don't have much money. 29000 is not that much in order to do any of the uh, industrial areas here, especially like the farm that you can put your own fence around and everything. It's super cool. I really like it. So let's see what else we can build. Oh, yeah, McAllister Farms down here. Or, sorry, McLester Farms. Let's see... And again, if you haven't already, make sure you click or tap that like button and let me know you'd like to see more City Skylines is your way to vote. So many people don't do it. Don't be one of those fools who don't click or tap that like button. Be cool and stay in school and hit that like button. And let me know you want to see more. Let your voice be heard. Uh, let's see. Lemma, thank you very much for si uh, subbing. That's fantastic. All right. I want to... Uh, let's see. Wow. We got a, a huge residential demand. So let's go ahead and meet that demand by building a, another addition to our little neighborhood over here. There we go. A little extra space between the two neighborhoods shouldn't hurt anyone. Alright. That looks good. Hi, Norman. How's it going? Yeah, uh, Spin Tires Mudrunner uh, Wildlands came out today. 
I'm gonna have to find some uh, people to play with so I can uh, get a big old convoy going. Which makes me excited to play this game even more because this is like, there's some elements of trucking simulator in here and transport fever in here and a little bit of like Tropico in here too. So it's a real nice mix. Let's see if we can build a road that way. There we go. Okay. Should be able to build a bunch of new homes now. Let's connect with water. Looks like we have a water shortage. Should probably uh, build an actual water pump now. There we go. Alright, that'll give us a bunch more water. And power is also another thing we need a lot more of. We also have the incinerators going, so let's go ahead and fire it up. Get those uh, buildings plopped down, and then we'll make sure they have water. Our city is very small for now, and I don't think we want to make too big of a city. But some of the buildings that you can build in here, like, for example, uh, the warehouses, they're like the size of a Walmart distribution center. I mean, they're, they're insane. They have some huge, huge buildings in here. They're almost the size of the airport. I guess you could argue that they're big-o and crazy. Let's see. Yeah, go ahead and read the title, OCED. Okay. Let's see. Um... Oh yeah, we have a dirt uh, sand storage for our, uh, oh wow, 72% full, uh oh. Yeah, our iron ore uh, over here. Okay, we need another uh, warehouse to ship out that stuff. Let's see, where's our warehouses? Let's start with a small warehouse yard still. I guess you can't put any of that there. New subscriber shout out. Goodbye, thanks for subbing. Let's see, ore is ready. Well, it looks like we need to build another s sand storage in order to do this. Oh wow, look at those trucks rolling out. They are fully loaded with ore. Wow, that's gonna bring in some money. Let's see actually what we're making for money now. There we go, 967 being shipped over here to make flour. And then to our bakery, ooh, which is making $3,000. I like how this is kind of small scale so far. But look at that, we're making 12, ooh boy. Money's really coming in now. Farm workers barracks, okay. Pastures. Oh, a cattle shed. Oh, cool. Wow, a lot of this stuff takes up quick cash, but man, is it awesome to build. Oh, look at all that stuff. There's new roads as well, heavier industrial roads. What's up, Scott? Thanks for subbing. Actually, uh, having a toll booth is a good way to pay for the wear and tear of added industrial traffic, so that's cool. No, I don't have an offshore oil platform at the moment, but you can build those. I thought that was so cool that you could do that. I can't wait to uh, possibly build over there and, and unlock some more of that industry. Oh, I think we can. I don't think we're right in the way. Uh, I think we got to go a little further before we can unlock that. Oh boy, look at traffic.
Uh oh. Let's see. We could make that a one way street there. It would force people to go back to the roundabout to get around. There we go. Uh-oh. There we go. Fantastic. Have a lot of farms and export everything? Yeah, that could be a tactic. Space already occupied. What? There we go. We got our farms going. I absolutely love it. Looks great. Unicorn Mine is doing good. A huge swath of new industrial areas. Good. Okay. We still need more workers here, too. Wow, they take up a lot of uh, resources. You need a lot of exports for a car factory? Dude, we could do car factories, too? That is awesome. That's so much more to do now in City Skylines. Wow, look at that traffic. i got to figure out a way to fix that. What's up, Team Kenny? I didn't anticipate so much traffic in the game. Do, 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 do. Not enough buyers for products. There's a lumber mill right there. Hmm. All right, we got to solve this. Uh, this pr this problem. Mm hmm. I'm going to build a road here, see what we can do. There we go. Oh, it's making pastries. Yum. Yes, please. Uh, detector, thanks for subbing. All right, now we got to figure out a way to get traffic moving a little bit more effectively. New subscriber shout out. Thomas, thanks for subbing. This should help. disconnected again. All right, we're good. Dude, this is awesome. I like it. Yeah, you can make everything sustainable. Whoa, we're making a lot of money. 10000 Where's all that cash coming from? Flower, crop, 
and animal products are turning into pastries. Interesting. We've almost got this thing to level uh, four. Actually, almost level three. Oh, you can see where all the buildings are? Oh, interesting. Can I build a unique factory for that yet? Nope. I do like how we have the, the farm up. Okay, let's build some more down here. Building the farms is a lot of fun. I like this. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's your, your Russian little fan learning a language with your passage of Homeworld Deserts of Karak. I just want to say thank you. Oh. Well, thank you. Placebo. Thank you very much for watching that series. Right, there we go. We're expanding on our placement now. That is so cool that you can build these huge farms with all sorts of different little... Um, like you can set up the fields and everything. So essentially you can build your own farm, your own logging camp. This makes things look a lot more interesting just in the vanilla game. Imagine what the modders are going to do soon with all this. It's going to be big O and crazy. Industrial road looks really cool. I like that. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. All traffic to one lane. That's the city skylines, I know. Oh, here we go. Somebody smart. boy. Truck driver figured it out. see what we can do next we need to keep making some more cash let's speed up time so we can get some money let's start building some more stuff again welcome to all the new subscribers too if you're watching and you haven't yet subscribed i encourage you to click or tap that subscribe button your name should pop up here and we'll welcome you to the stream congratulations sonali farms has reached level three efficiency plus almost 20 percent 20 percent less pollution we now have a lemonade factory milking parlor medium crop field and fruit field dude Wow, we can make lemonade now? Ah, probably with all of our fruits and everything. Dude, that's awesome. Right, let's build that next. Wait, it should be under here. Ah, there it is, the lemonade factory. Yaksu, it's like a hug in a can. Lemonade factory products, sweet and energizing. Your beverage is a variety of different tastes. Crops and glass, special goods are needed to produce these drinks. Unique factories can be placed outside the industrial area. Oh, we need glass in order to make that. I'm assuming we'll probably get that from the iron ore mine. Oh, this thing's almost full completely. Sand storage. I need to be able to make more in order to... Uh, we need to get to like the next level here in order to unlock some more mining stuff. Like, a sm like some sort of a steel mill or something. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it goes. Uh, let's see, industrial steel plant. Yes, we can build a steel plant now and a glass manufacturing plant. Oh boy, we're about to make some money. This is awesome. What's up, Madison? Oh, this is great. Now we have ore storage too. Okay, this is, this is good news. 
Let's build factories instead. Because we got to get that stuff pumping out. Uh, let's see. New factory. Yeah, there we go. Industrial steel plant. Oh, boy. We're going to make some big old money from that. Oh, that is perfect. I should have put these further away, huh? Uh, how much is the moving cost? 4,000. Oh. Well, we need it for bigger roads. We got a lot of traffic. There we go. Still need that money from the toll booth, though. That's probably 90% of our income, right? Yeah, the industrial steel plant is huge. Yeah, we're about to see that thing in action. All right, let's slow down time here. Oh, it's uh, 75,000. How big? Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, bo oh, boy. Oh, oh, my. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That is a huge building. Whoa. That is like literally the size of a neighborhood. Holy crap. Whoa. You love the channel? Me too. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. This is crazy. Now we're on to cool things like steel mills. I'm down with that. Wow. That thing is big oh crazy. Wow. Alright, uh Wow. Uh, slow down time. Oh, this thing's probably going to eat up a lot of power, too. Oh, boy. Okay, so now the workers should be able to deliver. We got plenty of ore sitting around, so now they just got to deliver it. So, uh, what do they have to deliver here? Metals to make steel products. Okay. Oh, oh man. Do I like pandas? Yeah. Panda Express. Alright, let's see. Good traffic, good that. Oh, water and power, probably. No, it looks like it's fine for power. How are we doing on power? Okay, we got a lot extra. Wow, look at that. Look at that steel mill. Wow, it's no joke. They gotta, like, melt that stuff and then. Uh, they gotta fix it into a thing there. Wow. Okay, well that hopefully will bring in a lot more money. Dude, this industrial DLC is just awesome. Getting a little bit more crime. There we go. Behave, people. Wow, this is so cool. Oh, first steel delivery coming in. There we go. Me uh, metals have been delivered. Now it's making it into steel. Pro oh, wow. Production value is already 6,400. Dude, this is so cool. Uh oh, traffic's not very cool, though. Wow, how, wow, how is there 300,000 trucks and cars going through there? Nobody wants to. Uh, I guess everybody in city skylines wants to take the shortest route. We don't have a lot of space either with the, uh... Limited island size. There we go. Well, now that looks nice. UD Road Trip says, can we get to 100 likes? I bet if everybody clicks that like button right now, we could probably get well up over 1,000. It's a goal to push for, so let's make sure it happens. Go ahead and click or tap that like button if you like City Skylines. All you got to do, that little finger, yeah, that's all you got to do. Click and tap it to let me know you want to see more. I appreciate all your support, guys. 
Uh, we need some more iron ore here. Obviously, it's going to burn through a lot of that. That's weird. This takes ore, but this says it accepts metals. News. Metals are produced by out. ore grinding mills. Okay, we need to build an ore grinding mill. Oh, we built that all the way over here. Yeah, one thing I don't like about this game is you have to build a road before you place the object down. Yeah, let's bring the ore over here. Hopefully it doesn't uh, zero it out. Oh good, it kept it. Alright, let's build some more ore grinding mills then. This is weird, though. Ore into metals, but not enough raw materials, yet there's 82%. Like, that thing's completely full sitting there. Dude, I, this is so cool. Alright, let's see. Uh, small ore mine underground. Gonna have to build some more roads around here. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, the Big O industrial area uh, is definitely Big O and Crazy Million Dollar. It's actually worth quite a bit of money. Okay, we're short on money again. Wow. Money burns up quick in this one because you uh, build these industrial buildings so quickly. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now we're turning it into metals real quick. So this place should get more metal soon, and it's going to make so much more money. This is cool. I like the industrial roads. That's a really good thing that they added. It really makes things easier to make a road that's not, like, too nice. Hola, Chris Pinto. Dude, look at this steel mill that you can build, dude. Look at how big this thing is. It's insane. Big o' crazy. $70,000. Alright, we got ores being turned into metals. And then the metals are being shipped over to the uh, steel mills. It's going to take a minute to get there. This is crazy. I've started a recording series, too, to showcase all the other stuff. So hopefully you guys all watch that one as well. Uh, what did I name the last city? I don't think we uh, posted that one to the Steam Workshop yet. Game does require a lot of water, though, when you're doing industrial buildings. Come on, where's all that steel? Get it in here, boys. You need a huge workforce for this as well. If you're going to go industrial, you better have like a... Just like a gargantuan... Like Soviet era. Like you need apartment block on top of apartment block. We need more ore. Oh, that's expensive. We're getting close to the source though. Well, oh, that's cool. Wow, look at that mine. Oh, that's really cool. Well, of course, every building needs a little water. There we go. What's up, crazy gamer? Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, this DLC is really neat. This actually is a, like a complete game changer. It, it, it turns industrial buildings that used to be like a dirty secret that people tried to hide from their main city into like... 
the actual reason to build a big city now is to have huge workforces in order to support lumber and uh, mining and uh, manufacturing. You make cars and shoes. Cars is going to require like rubber and uh, plastics and glass and steel. A lot of stuff that goes into that. On well, the flour, flour mill there working away for the bakery. There we go. Steel mill finally got what it needed. Production rate. Oh, we can increase the production rate? How does that work? Oh, you, it just changes the upkeep. All right, well, let's keep it at 110%, I guess. Interesting. Okay, that's a way to make more money. That's cool. All right, Panda. Oh, and there goes the ore. Literally like it's getting transported there by Teamsters from uh, Tropico. Dude, that's so good. How much is this? 10,000? There we go. Now, of course, we can make things look prettier, but we're looking to make some money here. Dude, we're making like $9,000 a day. Oh, yeah, look at that. Steel products are going out. Beautiful. New subscriber shout out. Philip, thanks for subbing. Well, the toll booth is probably killing our, uh, produ our uh, ability to get things to where they need to go, so let's get rid of that. And let's just make a road here now. Uh oh. We don't have enough money. What am I going to do, chat? I need someone to drop a uh, $300 super chat. That's what we're short. If anybody in chat wants to go ahead and help the city out, I'm going to go ahead and need that in, uh, cash only on Mark Bills, please. Thanks. Uh-oh. Well, come on now. There we go. Now we can finally build it. All right, good. Traffic's flowing nicely again. I can't believe we could build a steel mill like that. That's so cool. Now we need even more iron ore for it. All of our money can go into steel. This is awesome. What's up, Lonely Wolf? Hey, Crazy Gamer, thanks for the two. Yeah, we can, we can actually build like a worker's utopia now with, with this type of DLC. Like, it, it makes it actually possible. Like, now that you can build these huge apartment blocks and everything like that, like, there's mods for all that. And then the base game works along with you in this way. So this is really cool. Okay, how much ore do we have piled up? Oh, wow, it's like completely full. And now we're a small city. Good, good, good. All right, now what we need to do is um, we need to make more ore processing centers. So we don't have enough of those. So we want the ore grinding mill. Okay. There we go. So this essentially just purifies the ore and turns it into... Like actual ore that can be used. Oh, look at how shiny that is. Oh, you can actually see the dirt coming out. Wow. They put in that much detail. That's really, really cool. Oh, that looks good for now. Okay. Wow, the city looks great, too. I really like how it looks. Do, 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 do. Another major city build. I think in this one, like, you don't need, need to make a major city as much as, like, you can make a... I don't know. Like, a, you could do it. I went I went to my other map to see how quickly I could make, like, a major city. But it didn't... Uh, it seems like you want to definitely start over. Plus, that's more fun anyway. 
not enough raw materials. There's 300 tons of ore sitting there. It just needs to be delivered, that's all. Steel mill is, uh, uh oh, running out of production. All right, we're fixing that. We got a lot of ore being delivered, and then a lot of it's being purified. Here come the trucks. Look at it go. What does empty do? I hope it doesn't transport it to a different place. Well, so far, so good. Welcome to all the new subscribers today, too. I'm sure you're watching and you're not yet a subscriber. And I would uh, definitely encourage you to take the plunge of <gasps> clicking that scary subscribe button. By the way, I hear it changes colors, too, by the way. If you, if you subscribe, there's a magical thing that'll happen. So we'll see how many new people subscribe. So welcome to all of you. Joey, thank you for subscribing. Aiden, I'm glad you're a big fan. Thanks for watching. All right, well, a lot of ore is being turned into metal now. Metal, indeed. Boy, there's a lot of ore here, but it's not being transported to where it needs to go. Eh, they'll figure it out. I like how this looks, though. This is really cool. I mean, we got a, we got a steel mill here that's pumping out tons of steel. We might even need another steel mill. Let's upgrade, uh, oh boy, look, oh wow, look at the gridlock of the farms, why? We'll have to change this to, uh, gridlock farms, that'll be the name of it. Oh boy. It's absolute, just locked down in there, oh boy. Make a one-way road going over here. That's all good. All right. Let's see. So the farm is close to the next level, so let's add some more stuff to that. Small barn. Milking parlor. Oh, yeah. Medium fruit field. Okay. Medium. Oh, medium crop fields. Yeah, let's go for that. Wow. Those are huge. Yeah, if you told everything, it's just going to block up traffic. It'll be lulls worthy, but it'll destroy the city. Wow, now we're making 19,000? This is a pretty good amount of money for a city with only 8,000 population. We're making $21,000 in, in just, like, profits from all these exports. That's great. What does a milking parlor look like? Wow, milk, milk tastic, guys. Uh, let's see. My name in high school was Milk Dud. So that's how that went. All right, there we go. Ore is getting transported over there. Perfect. We still need more steel coming over here, though. Like, I can't produce it fast enough, which I guess is a good thing. Because we can get more uh, iron mines faster than we can get another steel mill. Alright, let's see. Workers are needed. More industrial areas are needed, they require. Dude, this is so cool. I, I just love this so much.
Boy, it all, it all comes down to here. I didn't anticipate all the traffic would come this way. I wonder if we... If we disconnect here, they're going to have to just go a different way. Some of these ways are just better to deal with traffic, so let's, let's see that. Wow. Thomas, thanks for seven. should do oil soon. Where's the oil at? Let's take a look. Okay, oil's up there. So we'll have to probably build like a... Uh, well, I don't think we can build offshore yet. There's more area for mining down here. Oh, the steel mill's getting plenty of metal. Uh, Unicorn Mine has reached level 3 now. Oh, wow, what? Now we get an electronics factory, a seabed mining. <gasps> what? We can send out ships to do mining off the water? Oh, my God. Medium ore mine, rotary kiln plant. Oh, what does that do? That must... Um, well, we can build an electronics factory now, though, guys. All right, watch out, Sony. Watch out, PlayStation and Xbox. The Dino Box station is coming through. Dude. What does this do, anyway? Rotary kiln plants take raw material and heat them at high temperature to form iron-like pellets that can be used in steel production. Uh, hmm. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. All right, so if you're going to get this DLC, you better have a lot of space. I started on the map that had, like, this tiny little corner. Oh, man. This is so cool. I think I'm going to buy down here just so we can take advantage of more of these resources. So let's do that. And now we can do some more mining down here. There we go. Wow, this is this is quite the setup. All right, let's see if we can get an electronics factory down. Oh boy, oh boy, that's that's even bigger than the steel plant. It's just a little bigger than the steel. Maybe they're the same size, actually. Nope, I think the electronics factory is just a little bigger. Wow, what does this do? Letho Electronics producers. Or produces electronics from simple house appliances to advanced computer systems. The electronics factory requires plastic, glass, and metals to... Sp oh, man. That's going to give us so much money. All right. So we need to start forming glass and metal or plastic. So we'll need ore or oil. How do we make glass, though? Isn't there... Is there sand storage somewhere? Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. She's starting to make... Uh, Oh, this is awesome. This thing can immediately produce ore into metal at a, like a much, much faster rate. That is awesome. Dude. Okay, let's see. Wow. You get so many industry. This is so much more fun than like building the city itself. Uh, ore storage. Oh, this is sand storage. How do I uh, turn that into glass, then? Is there a factory just for glass? Furniture factory. Household plastics. Toy factory. Printing press. Clothing factory. Petroleum refinery. Soft paper factory. Car factory. Uh, let's see. Food factory. Sneakers. Modular homes. Wow, what? And a shipyard. All right, so then how do we make glass? Fiberglass plant, okay. Raw mi mineral storage.
Ore mining maintenance building. Oh, here we are. Glass manufacturing plant. So we can now make the two things needed. So now we can start producing glass and we can start producing... Uh... Wow, this is cool. We can start producing glass and we can start producing steel. Now all we need is plastics. Guys, plastics make it possible. Just keep that in mind. Dude, this is so cool. Oh my goodness. Hey, what's up, Equatorial? Ooh, noodles. That sounds good. Alright, we're kind of low on money again. Everything in this game costs quite a bit of cash. But it brings in so much money after a while. It's, it's ridiculous. Alright, let's see. We need another sawmill. And more trees. Oh, trees are an effective start. They're only worth 4,000. Good. Okay, let's expand our industrial area. For logging. <gasps> the logging goes reach level 2. Biomass pellet plant. Furniture factory. Dude, what? Oh my goodness. Now we can build furniture too? Watch out, Ikea. Well, that's got to be one of my episodes, is to build an Ikea in my series that I've started. That's going to be so cool. It right, looks like we're short on cash. But we got plenty of trees coming through. All right, this is the glass factory. Oh, that turns ore. That shouldn't take ore. Shouldn't that just take sand? This is called sand storage, but it takes ore. Hmm. Let me put down an ore storage. See if that changes anything. Yeah, this DLC is really cool. Like, uh... I kind of feel bad because I started in such a small spot, so everything kind of had to be smushed together so we have some traffic problems. But I, I don't care about the uh, traffic problems. How much for the glass factory? Um, the building price of that is... Oh, and you can only build one. Oh, no, you can build more. $25,000 to build one of those. Yeah, they're not... Things in this game are not cheap. So if you go down the industrial route, you're probably going to end up, uh... If you go down the industrial route, you're probably going to end up going down the, uh... Down the industrial route for a while, because everything's very expensive. So you're not going to grow your city very much. Oh, man. Wow, this is amazing so far. The maximum is five stars. There we go. All right, yeah, our cash is always going to be low because once we get, like, look at this. We're making $25,000 every, like, uh, week or whatever, but we're, like, the moment we build two things, it's gone. All right, so now we're making glass. Also, do I need any more yards? see glass and uh, I guess more metals just in case 
Then they can be brought right over to the uh, steel mill from here. I could have probably built it over there, but alright, that's fine. Oh man. This is so cool now. Like, I, I really can't wait for some custom maps and people to build... I mean, now, now, you, could, now you can really build like a serious train line and, and have it go right into an area. Like, for example, the steel mill, and then you can ship everything out via train. Which means you can have multiple steel mills, and that's going to be crazy. Do I prefer this over SimCity? Yeah, this was the thing that was missing that made SimCity better. Was the ability to, like, set up supply chains and do mining and all that kind of thing, and now it's here. Now they finally have it. Oh, dude, we can build a big old medium ore mine. Oh, boy. Now, let's do this. Giant. Wow. Doing a little dredge in there. Okay, that's going to provide more metal now. Or ore, anyway. It's really cool. Like, you got to be more focused on the economy and, like, the whole, like, setup of uh, buildings. And your, uh, like, your industrial... God, that's so cool. Like, laying this stuff out is more important than the city now. And actually, going down this route, you can focus more on the industrial, too. The city kind of takes care of itself. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. Hey, now we can build the lemonade factory, too, since we're making glass. How much is that thing? Lemonade factory is fifty thousand dollars. All right, let's build that next. Uh, UD Rhodes, I think you should drop a five hundred dollars super chat. Thanks, dude. Let's just get her up over one billion. Awesome. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, this, this has definitely added a lot more to the gameplay. Like, you can build a tiny little... You know, th this city's not that big. But our industrial city, like, mine would probably look a lot nicer if I wasn't, like, smushed up against this river. But there's still tons of trees, and we still have yet to get into oil. So I'm looking forward to that. I, I, I think we can... I can buy a space up there. But we're going to have to be you careful about that one. Abe, thanks for subscribing. Yeah, I hope the lemonade factory makes all the difference. Like, I'm more interested in putting down buildings. Oh, look, we can get the furniture factory in here, too. Wow. Well, let's start with the lemonade factory, then the furniture factory. Because we're making plenty of wood here now, too. And you can change the appearance of everything easily. That's awesome. This is so cool. And lots of traffic, too. Like, a lot. Yeah, we'll build a nice little grassy road there. Join button, what does it do? It gives you access to a ton of emotes. You get access to our Discord private chat where you can chat with me personally. Get your name highlighted in green. You get a badge next to your name. And, of course, your swag gets upgraded 1,300%. So go ahead and uh, 
Click or tap that join button right now to see what it does. It's magical. All right, let's build our lemonade. Oh, what? This is a lemonade factory? What the? F this is massive. It's like a military compound. All this for lemonade? It's better be the world's best lemonade ever. Look, what? Wow. That's just an unnecessarily huge building. I wonder how big the furniture factory is then. All right, so now uh, what fruit has to be delivered here? Crops and glass need to be delivered. We're making both. So there comes the money. This makes me just want to make a, just an awesome industrial area. This is just really cool. I'm kind of just throwing things out here now to see what they do and how they function. This is kind of like practice for a full-scale series. But man, so far so good. This DLC is wonderful. We still need more metals to be delivered. We still can't make enough. Oh, 40 out of 65 workers. We need more workers here. Let's see. Wow, we still don't have enough uh, people in town. Right, let's make a connection over here. I don't know if I can do medium. Yeah, we're building for sure. Build, 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 baby. Oh, there we go. We can do a little bit higher density. Let's do that over here. We need to get those steel workers going. Oh man. This is really cool. Like now, after learning all this stuff, the next time we do a build of a new city, it's going to be like much better. And lessons learned on a few things that are just awesome. It's just so cool. I mean, I love how the there's different levels of mining that the mines get bigger. That's cool. Yeah, we should do a train system. We'll have to connect to the main line. We'll have to take a look at other map. Oh, look at look at the money coming in. That's crazy. But when we build one thing, it, it disappears. All right, let's build a furniture factory now. Well, that's a little bit more sensibly sized. I think we'll build that over here. There we go. So now it needs, what, just wood? Oh, timber and paper. What? Why would paper be? Paper is produced with the pulp mills and biomass pellet plants. Okay. Well, let's build that then. Take a look at our industrial zone. I think that was a level from Sonic. There we go. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, let's see. What is it? Sawdust storage. Sawmill. Biomass pellets processing building, which requires raw forest to produce special goods paper. Oh, wow. Another... Geez, every every building in this game is huge. It's awesome. Yeah, higher density means more people. That's why we built that all of a sudden. Because I need a lot more workers. Some of these jobs aren't fully filled up. 16 out of 25. You can see more people getting hired. So we're doing good with uh, job creation. Oh, this is what makes paper. Oh, that's interesting. Biomass pellet plant just immediately turns it into paper. Okay. I guess I accept that. It'd be cool for scenarios now. It'd be really cool if somebody made a scenario map where you have to like do something with the economy. 
That'd be really neat. That'd be really cool. Hi, Chad. How are we doing? If you guys love this DLC, I need to see a bunch of hearts in chat. Where's all of our wonderful chatters? Hi, everyone. Good to see you all here. Welcome to City Skylines and Industries. I love this DLC. This is so cool. Man, now we can get, like, freight trains coming in here, too. I'll have to do that kind of in, like, the next city that we build because then I'll know exactly how we have to set things up. Like, literally, if you buy a square, that could be an entire factory and train lines area itself. Like, think about it. With this, we could build our own thing. Printing press, medium tree, and a lar large log, medium log storage. Look at that. We could have a train station. There's lots of stuff. And the cool thing is, is that you could have a mining area and then have another industrial area for manufacturing. So if you want to do the iron ore mining over here and then do like the smelting over here in the steel mill, you can separate everything. That's awesome. Yeah, Team Kenny with them hearts. Traffic flow is at 85% efficiency. Not too bad. Well, traffic's at least going. All right, paper should be coming in now. As soon as uh, raw forest products are delivered. And we need more workers. Oh, we still have more demand. Yeah, so you can see why the Soviet Union built like these gigantic uh, tenement buildings. Because they needed a hell of a lot of workers to get things done. Beautiful. I've learned so much. After you get your initial city built... Oh my... What? Look at our money. What the... Wow, that, that is a ton of cash for a city that doesn't even have 10,000 people in it. Holy crap. I wonder what would happen if we did... Uh, let's do some oil now. Can we reach up there and grab some oil? Let's see where it is. A little bit. We're going to have to, like, unlock another uh, space. When do we... When's our next unlock? Population of 13,000. Yeah, we're going to have to do some offshore. Actually, I, th I think what we're going to have to do, though, is build it onshore because we... I don't think... We have to unlock offshore. So we might want to build over here first. I don't know. There's so many options. This is so cool. I love it. Do, 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 do. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Wow, look at our lemonade factory. You can see it from space. Wow, the mu this this makes industry like not this gross little secret anymore. Like now you can literally build these factories down by the shore, and they don't seem to pollute too much. Yeah, there's like not really that much pollution coming off these buildings. Lemonade factories like zero. Uh, obviously, there's a little bit of the steel mill. Uh, furniture factories like next to nothing. That's good. My Instagram's good. Well, thanks, ma'am. Anybody who follows me, the, the next uh, three people to follow me on Instagram, I'm going to give a shout-out. So go ahead and follow on Instagram right there. I'll drop the links. Also, you guys should join our Steam group. Steam groups are down below in the links, too. So a shout-out to anybody who uh, joins that Steam group. All right, we're going to need some more incinerators, I think. get that trash out of here what is supposed to counteract the pollution uh, well you can you know you can put your steel mill out in the middle of a forest but there's not really much to counteract it that's the thing with pollution is that profit is more important than pollution so we don't necessarily ever have a way to truly deal with it
Jeez, I don't know what I'm more excited to build on to. Let's see. Sawdust storage. I don't even know why we need that. What is that for? Obviously, it stores sawdust, but why? Oh, it can be imported. In oh, it can be exported for money. Oh, so it's like a byproduct that can just be uh, that can just be exported for cash. Okay. Oh yeah, production starting to increase as we have more and more workers here now. Wow, you really need a lot of workers to get this done. The steel mill, I don't even think it has full workers. Workplace is 66. No, it doesn't say what the max is, though. Wow. Okay, I want to do oil now, but we got to unlock more. So I guess we need more homes. I didn't think this would require so many uh, workers. Build the workers barracks? Oh. Is that actually... Does that actually allow places for workers... I mean, I, it's supposed to do that, but does that actually have that effect? Workers barracks increase work efficiency. Oh. That just raises efficiency. It doesn't actually provide housing. That'd be a good idea if it did, though. Uh, I'm building this all with the industrial road. Oops. get to this point you just got to build like just huge apartment areas New subscriber shout out. thank you everyone for subscribing today welcome aboard and a shout out to everybody who clicks or taps that subscribe button There we go. Whew. Second highway entrance to the city. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a good idea too. I'm really just using this to kind of experiment more with the end. Uh, like this city's probably going to end up getting trashed. This is kind of just our experiment right now. And look at that. We've got half a million. Like there's no problem with money anymore. Like we at this point we can pretty much build whatever we want. I'm just trying to see if we can get all these jobs filled up. To see how difficult it truly is. And we're talking about thousands of open jobs here. New subscriber shout out. Uh, let's see. Braulio, thank you for subbing. Alright. Wow. You definitely need a big city. To support your big old crazy industry. Oh, we got a half a million dollars. We don't even have 10,000 people in the city. Open jobs. Yeah, this is better than Allentown for sure. This is so cool. I can't believe it. With these small little industrial areas. Like, look at this. This is a lemonade factory. It's bringing in like 3,200. Now, I can't wait until we get into the complex consumer electronics. But in order to do that, well, I guess we could import plastics. So let's do that. Let's, let's build an electronics thing. Oh, so why does the... Uh, the furniture factory does not have enough goods. But we are producing paper over here. Biomass pellet plant. 
raw forest products. Isn't that what we're producing here? Huh. Eh, well, whatever. We'll figure that out. Let's uh, build a storage for... Uh, let's start importing something. I want to start importing plastics. Let's build a small warehouse. We'll build our electronics factory somewhere over here. So let's start importing with plastics. Now that should import, right? Plastics are produced by naphtha cracker plants and protochemical plants. Cannot be imported, has to be produced locally. What? So we we can't can't sneak around that one. So we actually, we cannot we cannot import. All right, let's see here. How am I streaming two times? Um, because I'm streaming again. I wanted to take a little break last time. Did a recording of a thing and worked on some other stuff. This is just so cool. All right, we got to get that population up. All right, we don't need to worry about building nice now. Profit, profits are more important now. Money, need money. Must be capitalists. Need money. No, don't, don't know why. Need more. Team Kenny, thanks very much for your support. Good evening. All right, let's see if we can get up to thirteen thousand. Money is important. No, money is the only thing, guys. That's better. That's more. Remember, as capitalist society, that's more important than happiness, health, uh, family. Loved ones, pets, money. It's all about the zeros in the bank account, guys. That's all that matters. Right, there we go. Oh, looks like we need some more power. I'm going to finally build an oil power plant. What's up, Brady? We're building a uh, wonderful workers' haven here. We, you can actually have uh, workers' unions and stuff in the game. It's kind of cool. All right, we got to get up to third. I can't believe this. We've almost got a million dollars, and there's, like, only 10,000 people in the city. I forgot a fire station, but those cost money. Remember, money's more important. We don't want any we, we really don't want to give our citizens anything back. We don't we don't want them to have health care or good roads or a police or good fire like if we charge this and spend this that that space between is money. That's that's where we get our money. And that's going to pay for all of our yachts and our, you know, six or seven uh, golf courses. Well, who am I kidding? Six or seven. That's a start. Won't make money if the b industry burns down. That's where you're wrong. Because there's going to be money in construction. And then we're going to make more money. Uh, yeah, you can do f multiple toll booths. But it really just kills your traffic. Like, it's funny, but it just kills traffic. Alright, let's build some more farms. We need some more crops, apparently. Ah, crap, we need crop. There we go. Perfect. <gasps> the farm reached level four. Oh, we now have a clothing factory. 
Farm maintenance building, large barn, and a slaughterhouse. What, what does the clothing factory take from? Wow, we're unlocking everything, dude. This is so cool. This, I just feel so satisfied playing this. What is the clothing factory like? Printing press. Clothing factory. It takes animal products and then... What is that other thing? Uh, the Pernu Apparel Clothing is a well-known brand for its high-quality materials and flawless fashion sense. The clothing factory needs animal products, crops, and plastics. Special goods to produce Pernu... What? Why would it take plastic? Zippers and stuff? Buttons? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, sand does make glass. We've got our uh, glass factory over here and our sand storage facility is just down the street over here. Although it's weird because it says ore. So this is our sand storage, but it says it's holding ore. And then I built an ore storage, which is holding ore. So it doesn't seem like there's much of a difference between the two. Although there should be. That might be a, a glitch, maybe, uh, in terms of what it says. I don't know. The devs will probably make a patch later this week. Wow, this is so awesome. We're going to get that million dollars, guys. We're going for a million right now. All right, guys, let's get a million likes in chat right now. I'm pretty sure we can do it with all the people supporting and all of our nonstop view viewers and all that good stuff. Oh, the mine has reached level four. We now have the car factory, the ore industrial maintenance building, fiber cla uh, fiberglass plant. Dude, okay. Now we got to start working about oil. Like, we got to work on our oil. And I got I to gotta unlock another spot. So we got to get population up so we can get that oil. Because without that, we're not going to make plastic. That's where plastics come from, kids. Alright, Pinto, you might need to get your gun. I see it creeping back. I got my gun, too. Alright, let's see. Oh, lots of water needed. All right, boy. Wow, dude. I've been playing this for about four hours, and this is about as far as we've gotten. And uh, by this is as far, I mean we've got 10,000 people in the city. Well, 11,000 now. But we've got almost a million dollars in the bank. This is so awesome. And, like, we barely have any schools or anything like that. Like, this is cool. Like, we're actually... We're, make, we're making stuff. And, of course, we want educated workers and all that, but... I wonder if we'll need those for, like, the car factories or the electronics factory. You have to be a little, you know, you have to be a little more intelligent when it comes to building that stuff. Furniture, that's a little easier to make. Electronics, no, not so much. Those are a little, little tougher. I mean, if you've ever had your dad take, like, a soda can and be like, Son, I'm making you a graphics card. And he just, like, you know, starts putting uh, dental floss in there and stuff. Uh, that's as the French would say, no bueno. Hey, Spartan, thanks for the $2, man. Dude, you guys need to get this DLC. This this totally changes city skylines in a way that makes it almost like Tropico uh, and a little bit like the older SimCity game, which I thought was amazing that they did that, but now it's in city skylines, finally, where you can literally, like, do an industry. Like, this is big, and it, and it makes so much money. And to be honest, if you have a big city... What I would recommend doing is maybe, you know, bulldozing a neighborhood and then and then go for one industry. Like, uh, I'd probably say, well, actually, yeah, you actually have to have several industries work together in order to make the big bucks. Because, like, for example, if you're making electronics, you need you need iron ore, you need uh, you need iron ore, you need plastics, and what's the other thing you need? S something else. Some some things need to go together. Yeah, no bueno. Sorry, that's Swedish. Sorry, no, uh, that was Swedish or German. I don't, th I don't think it's Spanish. Because, you know. No hablo inglés, that kind of thing. Can these actually run out? Not enough natural resources. Oh, they ran out of uh, iron ore now. That's cool. So they've actually run out of the resource. So what I would recommend you do is build an industrial area. So it, it would be a good idea to build an industrial area away from your extraction area. So if you have a lumber, so have have like a giant forest, and then have like a lumber mill over here, and then have like your furniture over here. So you want definitely three things. Yeah, that was a joke. 
people always comment on that too, where it's like, if I say like, you know, Min, uh, into tell, into Svenska, then people are like, hey. Uh-oh. Looks like we need another water pump too. Yes, we're a big city finally. All right, dude, let's buy another spot. Should be able to buy another spot here. Hold on, where's the piping? There we go. Uh, how's water doing for availability? Sewage treatment just got some love, so that's going to be okay. So I'm absolutely in love with this DLC because you don't have to really focus on like building a bigger and bigger city. Now it's all about layout. Layout is so much more important because now you can focus on your train lines. You can focus on, you can like focus on building a city rather than building a city outwards. Like that, that was such a waste of time before. Not a waste of time, but you know, like now you have a reason to like build a, a city a little bit smaller and actually do a layout. That's cool. All right, uh, can we buy another spot? Two by two. All right, let's go for some oil. Woo! All right, let's start going for oil mining. This is going to be interesting. Okay, let's see. Now we've unlocked oil mining. Well, we've unlocked it before, but... All right, oil industry main building. Looks like most of our oil industry is pretty much on the water. Except for over here. So let's build a road that comes over this way. This is going to be interesting. We're going to have like this tremendous bridge coming to the other side just for oil. Oh, wow. Well, that looks ugly, but I want to see how oil works. All right, let's make a zone for it. Which will be everything over here. This will be the, the profit zone. Oh, wait. I'm just going to... We're just going to give that all to the oil place. There we go. Dude, it takes up like an entire slot. Look at that. Okay. Now, let's build our main oil facility here. So this is so cool. Now that I know how things have to be set up, I'm really looking forward to being able to like set these things up perfectly. Like that. That is so cool now. So now like you can have all your... So what you want to do is like, you know, have all your extraction buildings out there. Like, I'm totally going to... This weekend, we're going to build another bigger city. It's going to be so cool. Right now, it's just kind of showing off the DLC, but I, I'm excited. This is so cool. This is really the, the neatest thing I've ever seen. I'm glad they did it. I look cool. You're cool, too. Thanks for your support, everybody. Give me the regular pipes. No, I want the regular ones. There we go. All right, back over here we go. Okay, so now we got water delivery. Should be able to just build some windmills over here. There we go. All right, let's start hauling out that oil. Let's see how oil works now. Yeah, you can start a new farming area. Yeah, this game, you're really going to have to plan out your stuff ahead of time. Like, you really got to figure out what you're going to do before you do it. All right, small, small oil pumps. We need oil pumps. Uh, uh-oh. Hi, Isaac. Thanks for the $2, man. Oh, that's lame. You have to, like, build everything by a road. Well, let's build those new... Fancy new shiny uh, industrial roads. I just want to build it quick because I want to see it in action. Oh, looks like we want to build it a little closer then. Slope is too steep. Okay. Okay, we should be able to build the oil extractors over here. There we go. Alright, what do we got here? 
Oil sludge something thing. I don't know. Oh yeah, baby. I just don't like how some of these like literally an oil pump can work off like battery and like local power. Ah, eh, whatever. Right, let's build this thing quickly. We're doing it quick just to see how it works. What's up, Roman? Hi, everyone in chat. How you doing today? What's up, Roman? Hi there, Kamish, and Madison, and Ashton, and uh, Strelled in. What, what's up, Richard Greaves, and Joshua, and Brady, and Spartan Chuckles? Good to see you all here. What's up, everybody? Welcome. Are you guys getting this DLC? Is this a DLC you want? Like, I'm, I'm so excited. Like, this, this is a legal amount of fun now. This is good times. Like, we're bringing in millions of dollars now. Oh, what's up, Isaac? With the no now a 10. You're my favorite YouTuber. You're the best. Thank you very much, Isaac. And congratulations on your new uh, purchase of the uh, petroleum field. It is now a uh, fit petroleum. Thank you very much. That's a big O support. You're awesome, man. What's up, Ivan? All right. So now we need for uh, some oil to get pumped out. So it'll take a minute. For all the oil to get down there. It's a long way for people to drive to work. I like these industrial roads, though. They definitely fit the uh, industrial area. All right, let's take care of our people again. Let's go ahead and build some crematoriums. You guys know how it is in City Skylines. You need, like, 400 crematoriums. There should be a... Uh, they should have did, like, a... Day of the Dead DLC where you could, you know, just do something with the human bodies. Because in this game, everybody likes to die all at once and then there's a big problem. You wish you had this game? Yeah, for it. It's definitely worth your time. This game is really cool. Like, even if you don't know what you're doing, I think this DLC is the best because you can you can figure it out easily. Uh, doing some super jet houses. Uh, oh, wow. Why are the trucks driving that way? Oh, wow, look at all the oil tankers go. So now they're taking all that oil up the hill to where they'll be treated at the uh, oil sludge. I don't know what that is. Pyrolysis? I don't know what that is. It turns it into petroleum, it seems. And then as soon as that gets upgraded enough, we'll move on to the next thing. Now we're, we're going to have to make plastic, so that's why we're working on that. Super Chad oil fields, yeah. Actually, we, we can give you the... Uh, we can give multiple owners here. The Spartan Oil Company. That sounds good. That's a good name. Traffic flow is getting worse, but again, I'm just... Using this city not to be a pristine monument to city skylines. No, it's to see all the new stuff in the DLC. So I'm building stuff quick to see what it does. Because it's so cool. Alright, we need more crops. Oh, we're pumping out plenty of crops. Dude, this is am amazing at how much space you need to do this stuff. Like, I, I left a lot of space for my farm. But you'd better build your city. Like, you need to build your city away from the industry. Don't get in the way of profits. Like, before it used to be like you had to hide your industry over here. Like, shh, don't tell anyone I got this dirty industrial area. Well, now you basically put the industrial area in the center of the city. This is so cool. The DLC is brilliant, yeah. And the cool thing is, is you can play it as much as you want. Like, you can go crazy and have all the industries work together, or you can just build a farm. Like, that all works together perfectly. Alright, let's see here. Oh yeah, look at all that oil. Mm. Look at that. Alright, again, if you haven't already, make sure you click or tap that subscribe button too so your name pops up here and you never miss out on when we go live streaming. It's a pleasure to have you all here today, so thanks for tuning in. Wow. Let's get that, uh, let's get the metal pumped out there. Jesse, thank you very much for the uh, 1099. There's a new s session of City Skylines. Yeah. This is a whole new build, and man, I love this. Let's add on to our farm down here at McLester Farms. There's a lot of space down here for some more crops. <laughs> Spartan Chuckles, all my oil trucks. Wow, you guys are just dropping those super chats like crazy today. Thank you, everyone, for your support. 
You're all wonderful. Let me encourage a lot of you as well to click or tap that join button so you get access to all the wonderful emotes that we've made. Our wonderful artists have been hard at work making fun emotes for you to enjoy. And I need to see some more rap riches in chat, by the way. We're making tons of money right now. Like, look at that. We got $805,000 in the bank. Thank you, everyone, for your support. This DLC is just crazy. I love this so much. You guys got to pick this one up. Seriously, put it on your list. It is so good. Flour mill. We have one of those already. Oh, a slaughterhouse. Cool. I don't... I think it gives you a variety of buildings to put down, but I don't think necessarily you have to have... Like, you don't have to have a slaughterhouse down in order to, like, make benefit of the animals. I think it just gives you more things to put down just to make it look cool. So, for example, if you wanted to make a... Uh, well, actually, this this is a major facility. Oh, I love this. See, then if you wanted to build your slaughterhouse up here, you can, ju you can just build it up here. Like, you can make it a farming industry. Like, oh... We're going to do that right now. Like, let's make this for the slaughterhouse. Oh, you need a main building there. Darn it. All right. So I guess you kind of got to keep it in the same area. That I don't like as much. You should be able... I think you should be able to place a slaughterhouse, like, away from the farms. Because if you had, like, three big farms, you should be able to build a slaughterhouse, like, in town. Like, that's kind of how they are in real life. Like, the cows come to the slaughterhouse. The slaughterhouse is it's not on the same street. All right, how are we doing over here, the oil profits? Oh, we're almost reaching level two. Petroleum is being pumped out like crazy. Not enough. Let's build more. As soon as I unlock those offshore oil rigs, it's all over. We've made like a billion dollars. There we go. We're just scratching the surface of all that money. Well, I guess we'll build another main farmhouse over here then. Uh, oh, that's a well. The nice thing about the farm is it takes up a little bit of space. Farming and uh, logging are the best ones to get started with. Milking parlor, slaughterhouse. There we go. There we go, baby. Give me that money. All right, so now the cows and such and pigs will be sent there for, uh, you know, processing. More oil. Yep, I agree. That's going to give us a ton of money. Interestingly enough, the thing that I thought would make us the most money, we're now losing cash. Oh, Raptor. Oh, I know. Actually, I think we're losing money because, like, one of our businesses shut down. Like, we ran out of materials somewhere. Oh, thank you very much, Isaac. That's very nice of you. Wow, man, thanks. Another thing we can do now is build, like, a... Like, it's not about building the city anymore. It's about, like, building large storage areas. You know, like... We're going to have to build a warehouse district. We're going to have to build, like, a, a manufacturing district. We're going to have to build a uh, fire department. You know, that kind of thing. Uh-oh. There we go. Wow. Wow. After learning about this a little bit, I totally, like, want to start over and lay everything out. This is so awesome. Thanks again, guys, for your super chats. Isaac and uh, Team Kenny, Matt, and everyone else. I didn't forget about you either, Spartan. So thank you, everyone. You guys are great. Yeah, money goes, money's going back up again. It might not grow on trees, but it definitely uh, is underground. And it's grown in the fields. Wow, look at all the steel products there. Dude, we need to get a rail line in here? This map is definitely, like, probably horribly... Sp it's, it's pretty much horribly spread out, but at least it's got all the uh, things we need. It'd be nice if there was a map that had, like, a rail line next to it. Gave you everything you needed at the start. 
All right, looks like we're starting to run out of... Oh! Ooh, there we go. The petroleum has now reached level two. Small oil drilling rig, household plastics, oil industry worker barracks, and crude oil... Oh, petrochemical plant. Oh. All right, well, we got to build on to this a little bit then. What's the small drilling rig? That doesn't go on the water, does it? No? Okay. I need more prop. We need to unlock the other stuff, so we gotta build these. There we go. Just need to get uh, a little bit more money going. Uh, yeah, we could build a village over by the oil, but I'd have to take care of it. No. I don't want to do that. I want to see the industry grow up. I just want to see it work. So traffic is going to be very important here when you're building your cities. Also, layout is going to be very, very important. It's tough to do a layout, though, because you start in such a small... Like, when you start the game, your space is pretty much this big. Like, th that's it. And half of mine was taken up by a river. So planning for future cities is going to be a little... a little tricky. But once you start making money, boy, whoo, it comes in quick. All right, let's start putting down some more mining. Oh, can't wait till we build that big boy. Oh, not in industrial area. We'll see about that game. All right, let's see. I haven't seen this much ore mining since uh, Red Alert. Red Alert 2. Ore miners under attack. Wow, look at all that traffic. Alright, at this point, we just build a pipeline. Jeez. It'd probably be a little bit more cost effective to build a pipeline constantly pumping oil up the hill than to just buy like 400 trucks and hire all these people to do that stuff. Jeez. Right, let's empty this thing. Isaac, thanks very much for the five. You have the best fans ever? I certainly do. Whoa. Wow. Gar it must be garbage day. Look at all that. I want to see what we can do with the oil. I want to start building some offshore oil rigs, and that's really what I want to see next. Man, this is going to make some, for some really interesting mods from people. People are going to come up with some really interesting stuff. Alright. Yeah, we're bleeding money quite quickly. I'll have to fix that. Oh, Slaughterhouse needs some cash. I mean, uh, water in order to make cash. There we go. How are we doing with uh, workers? 44 out of 65. Wow. Still a big need. A big, big need for workers. Hmm. Uh, what? Not enough heat. What? 15 degrees Celsius. What? That's just a pipe with poo coming out of it. That, that Don't need to heat that. Yeah, this is the new DLC. That's right. And man, is it awesome. We've been building a lot of big factories. We're making big profits. Our city's not even that big either. Like our, most of our city's over here. And then I just added this on quickly just to get all the population up. So there's a lot to plan out in this game. This is going to be really cool. Let's take a look, actually. I may have used heating pipes down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Bum, 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 bum. The nice thing is, is forestry never runs out of materials and uh, farming never runs out of materials. They're constantly renewable. So once you build those, they constantly bring in money. As for iron ore and oil, those are like a one-time deal, but they bring you a ton of cash. All right, let's speed up time and see if we can make this work faster. Do, 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 do. What's up, Sandra? 
pa 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 Those drilling platforms are huge. Alright, let's actually build bunk houses. Because I know that production will go up if we do that. New subscriber shout out. And that applies for all these areas. Ethan, thanks for seven. There we go. Petroleum has reached level three. Large oil pump, toy factory, oil industry storage. Oh, come on. How long until we get our offshore oil rig? Give me the offshore. Crude tanks. Oh, there we are. Offshore drilling platform. Have a level five oil. Oh, go, oh, go, oh, go, oh, boy. Well, this one's a little tricky. Like, you need to get oil from elsewhere before you can actually do this. Yeah, that should be good. So you gotta, you gotta drill out on land before you can drill out on sea. Oh, now we're a grand city. Good. A grand old time. All right. So that'll bring in some more money. Too bad we can't like. Oh wait, we can build plastics now, which means we can build. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where's our plastics plant? Where's the plastics? Oh wait, wait, I bet it's under this. Electronics factory, clothing factory, car factory. Where's the, uh, oh, household plastics. Here we go. Now, are we able to use that? Toy factory, printing press. Now we can build the electronics factory. So I think plastics will be brought over there. Holy crap. Oh, it's Pepsi. Letho Electronics, wow. Japan was great. What's up, Sandra? Hi there. Brianne, good to see you there. Ethan, thanks for the compliment. So plastics, glass, and metals. Well, we're making metals. Petroleum turning into plastics, fantastic. Not enough special goods, you got some right there. Oh, I see, it needs other plastics. Gotcha. So it needs this building. It needs a petrochemical plant. So these should be brought directly to where they need to go, and then, uh, yeah, so oil will be brought from here to the storage tanks, to the petrochemical plant or the petrol plant, and then all brought together here at the plastics plant, which will then deliver it to the electronics factory. We've got metal, we got glass, and we got plastics. Oh boy. It's going to be awesome. I think we're gonna need more glass. Uh, 
What does that look like? Fiberglass plant. Or industry storage. There we go. Oh man. Th this is going to be just so cool. When, when, when you actually set out to build a city that is organized, like mine is totally unorganized, just so we can quickly see what it's like to build stuff. I'm building strategies for the future to where it's like, if you're going to build a you know, an oil area, you're going to want to build some stuff offshore. Do we, really, do we need a, our own personal police station for the, uh... Alright. Little, little crime going there. What's up, McKinley? Alright, let's see. Okay, we're doing some big mining now. It's going to bring in a lot of material. Oh, some of these are running out of oil already. There we go. We have a personal police station. There should be no problem. <coughs> <coughs> All right, we're good. All right, profits are coming in pretty slick. Oh, now we just need plastics and we can start making electronics. Can we export those? Let's go to warehouses. Let's build a small warehouse next to our other one. This is great. You can make warehouse districts. You can make factory districts. That's going to be awesome. Okay, looks like you don't need any for that. I also never got the paper going. I wonder why. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe I need something else to feed that pellets. Maybe that's what it is. Sawmill. Okay. Biomass pellet plant. That's what we have here. That's weird. Why are they not making pellets? Biomass pellet plant is producing building which requires raw forest product to produce special goods. Paper. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's getting what it needs. I guess we just need more paper. Tell me I have to extend the area again. Uh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, our road has a lot of traffic on it. It's because I didn't... Uh, really think about how big and grandiose this would be. I didn't know we would have these buildings this large, so it's a good thing I set out to practice a little bit on this map before actually doing like a, a, like a big serious build. I, I'm not a big fan of this map after all anyway. There's a few other maps I want to try out and they're going to be a little bit more uh, I guess profitable in the long run. Okay. Where's our plastics? Okay, they're making plastics. It's just going to take some time. The high re-entry is worth it? Yeah. I just don't want to get that intricate at the moment. I just want to see the... I'm just here to see the supply chains work at the moment. And then we'll have some more uh, intricate details. Oh, there we go. Plastic products are being made now. Get a little money off the side on that one. There we go. There goes those electronics, baby. 
Oh, look at the money. Production value, 10000 with material cost at three. Woo! That's big old profits. Get that production up. And then as soon as they bring it to market, here comes all the money. Dude. You are the 125th like? Awesome, Bob. Everybody watching right now, you got a magical power to make that like count go up. So go ahead and click or tap that like button if you'd like to see more and show your support for City Skylines and, of course, for me. So thank you, everyone, for being here. You're all fantastic. Your super chats today, awesome. Your uh, support is awesome. Your likes are awesome. So uh, make your voice be heard on wanting to see more. Hey, Emil, Tech Samikit for the 20 Danish kroner. Appreciate that, Tech. Very nice of you. All right, we gotta get rid of some of these buildings. All right, let's see. Woo. Population's going up. I gotta get that offshore oil rig. Building is on fire now? Oh, come on. Jeez, the oil industry is so needy. There we go. Not enough buyers for products? Uh, yes deliver the oil there so we can turn it into plastics and then deliver it over here. Alright, very good. Alright. Let's focus on uh, getting all of our oil over here. do 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 the shore ba, 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 ba. yeah this is gonna be a real challenge it's nice to build these huge factories like this it's really unique pumping out lemonade pumping out electronics pumping out steel products and uh, we're making more animal products from the crops nice Factories pumping out furniture. Dude. We're making money all over. Our money's kind of dwindling now because we basically spent a lot more. I think our oil industry is at a loss at the moment, but we're making it up with the electronics. Oh, there we go. Profits just skyrocketed again. Very nice. It looks like there's plenty of places for people to live, so housing is okay at the moment. Also, I don't, re I don't really want to focus on this building of the city. I want to focus on this. What's up, Sneaky Snake? Welcome to our new subscribers, too. Look at this parade of garbage trucks. The traffic is horrible as well. We'll have to lay out our next city even better. So cool to see this mining. You know, I think this will make the rocket a lot easier to build, too, because you'll have access to all the raw materials. All right, how are we doing here? Next level. We'll be at level four shortly. Oh, you got to make 4,000. Okay, that'll come along eventually. Profit is at negative $32. Not bad. Because eventually they're making plastics, which go over to the electronics factory. There we go. Okay, let's see. 
Garbage is piling up. Yeah, we got plenty of, uh... There's, there's really no reason for this in, for this incinerator not to drive one truck down here. That's why I put it there. Oh, here we go. Finally, someone figured it out. Congratulations. Good, good, good. Never mind, you just drove past. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, there's another fight there. Police station just for that. That's kind of dumb. Alright. I'm so excited now. Now after I've gotten my uh, feet wet in this DLC a bit, we can start a whole new city this weekend. So if you want to see a whole new fresh city build with all the things that we've learned to build an even better city. Like, I'll be honest, this city is not, not great with the traffic layout and, you know, me not knowing what I'm doing. But now that we know how big some of these buildings are, like, look at that thing. That, that's the size of, like, a large neighborhood. Now we can leave plenty of space for the, the businesses. We're spending all of our money on the uh, oil industry right now. I think that's sucking up a lot of our money. Because I can't... I, all of our money's out there. It's out in the water. So I gotta unlock, like, level level 5. Let's take a look here at uh, our level. Okay, workers level. Oh, workers level way higher than I thought. Okay, the thing's almost to level 4. Okay. So offshore oil rigs, those are easy to put down though. I'm assuming does it, does how does that work exactly? Offshore drilling platform. Oh, you just plop it out here. Perfect. Hopefully you don't need power or anything like that. That would be dumb. So offshore oil dr drilling platform must be placed roadside. What? Oh, it's trying to select this one, the small oil rig. The NAFTA cracker plant uses oil to produce special goods and plastic. Building needs to be placed inside the industrial area. Uh, it's like a faster uh, plastic uh, making thing. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, folks. Uh, hey, do you, would you all enjoy? I need everybody right now who's watching. I'm going to need your attention. Hi, how you doing? I need a yes or no if you'd like to see a full playthrough of city skylines industrial on a new city a city where we actually know what we're doing where we actually lay everything out i can uh, start live streaming a city this weekend and also doing a playthrough uh, scenario city so we'll do videos and streams what do you think you guys want to see that yeah okay well make sure you click the like button too so i know so that way this weekend we'll so the next time I live stream this, I think we'll start on the weekend and I'll build a whole new brand, uh, like a whole brand new city with all the lessons that we've learned to make a better city, a bigger city, and a more profitable city. Like today, I think we, we almost or we did briefly make a million bucks off of a population of like almost 10,000 people, which is ridiculous in this game. We made so much money uh, from that kind of stuff. So what we've learned is that we definitely want to do farms and forestry first because they bring in some real good money to start with, then go for iron ore, and then finally, lastly, do the oil, because by then you've got everything off uh, unlocked. And that'll allow us to build ports. We're going to start in a new city. We can't build ports here because we don't have access to the sea. But we do want to pick a map where we have access to the sea and railroads. Actually, to be honest with you, I'd, I'd like to see things shipped out via railroad the most. But it'll have to be a mix. All right, everyone. Well, that's my time here today for City Skylines. I approve of this DLC. Like, we got a much further look at this DLC. And so, uh, watch out for the video series that I'm going to be recording on City Skylines for a full playthrough. Um, our first city is going to have a nice farm set up. And then eventually we'll get into logging and then iron ore mining. So, you guys, remember, you need to aggressively support it. Every time that you're scrolling past my videos and not watching them, that means that series is probably not going to come back. So, remember, every time that you skip a video or something like that, that's when we move on to the next thing. For example, Tropico is probably going to be skipped and we're going to have to go for something else because I went away for a while, brought back the videos, and they get, you guys got to be aggressive. You got to always click that notification bell. You got to watch every video. Even if you're not interested at the moment, you still got to watch. Otherwise, I don't know what people like and have to move on to the next thing. Plus, playing what's new is the best. So I will see you all very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Clicking that like button on the way out. I might be back for uh, some uh, Mud Runner Wildlands a little bit later tonight. And uh, so... I hope to see you all soon. This game is fantastic. This was a nice experiment city. 
we really learned a lot. I, I learned a lot about these huge buildings and about building things away uh, from other things, and we'll have to have a much more effective road system, but more importantly, trains. So, again, follow me on Instagram with the links down below. I'll give some people shout-outs for that. And uh, thank you, everyone, for being here. You are all fantastic. Uh, Greg Michaels and uh, Zip Daniels and uh, Zuzu, thank you very much for following on Instagram. You are all fantastic. Uh, let's see, Anonymous, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate that. You guys are great. All right, that's my time here for today. I'm out, folks. I'll see you very soon for more City Skylines. And I'll see you all on the weekend for a whole new city build that I'll build with you. And I will see you tomorrow for an inaugural video on our new city, Industria, is what we're starting tomorrow. So I'll see you all for more City Skylines sometime soon. Bye, everyone. New subscriber shout-out. subscriber shout out.